Hi, I am Dr. Sham Sharkar. Welcome to my class. Don't forget to subscribe this channel for more updates. In this lecture, I will show you how to calculate number of protons, number of electrons and number of neutrons in an atom or in a molecule. Okay, so before going to the calculation and question answer discussion, I will just discuss about basic concept of atom and its component. So basically, you know from school level chemistry, an atom is the smallest constituent unit of an element and that are also building blocks of a molecule. Okay, so atoms are we know that they are extremely small and typically they have size in the picometer range. Okay, so we know that in an atom there are nucleus and electrons around the nucleus. Okay, so nucleus inside the nucleus we know there are protons and neutrons so there are three main components of atom that is proton electron and neutron okay so now if you see this or just representation of an atom that is here i have represented helium atom which has four that is mass number and two this is atomic number and electronic configuration is 1s2 so there are two photons that is equivalent to atomic number we know and there will be two electron also and if you uh, differentiate between this mass number and atomic number you will get the number of neutrons so there are four minus two that is two neutrons if you see the structure of this helium atom so this is the basic structure of helium atom this is nucleus and this is electron around the nucleus so there are two electrons and two neutron two proton in helium atom so this is how we represent an atom okay so next here you can see properties comparative properties of proton neutron and electron just for your knowledge i have just shared with you okay so i am not discussing details all these you know from school chemistry now we come to the question answer discussion see this question the number of protons present in 14 gram of calcium oxide is so four options given and also given n that is avogadro number 6.023 10 to the power 23 so here answers are given in terms of n so n value is we know avogadro number 6.023 10 to the power 23 and molecular weight of calcium oxide is given 56 so let us know how to calculate this number of proton present in 14 gram of calcium oxide so for this uh, just write down whatever data is given so here in this case calcium oxide we know the formula CaO and molar mass is given 14 gram molecular weight is 56 and N is also given 6.023 10 to the power 23 so at first you need to calculate number of moles so number of moles uh, for 14 gram of calcium oxide will be 14 gram divided by 56 gram per mole that means atomic mass given divided by molecular weight equal to 0 0.25 moles calcium oxide okay so we got the moles now we know one mole calcium oxide is equivalent to 6.023 10 to the power 23 molecules that is avogadro number of molecules and which is given here n molecules so we will consider one mole of calcium oxide is equivalent to n molecules okay now in this case we have 0 0.25 moles of calcium oxide so 0 0.25 moles of calcium oxide is equal to equivalent to 0 0.25 n molecules of calcium oxide because we have considered here n because n is given so we will keep this in terms of n okay so n is always avogadro number here now we also know that calcium oxide is consists of one calcium atom and one oxygen atom right so one calcium atom is having 20 number of protons and one oxygen atom is having eight protons so in calcium oxide molecule we 
know that there will be 20 plus 8 total 28 protons in one molecule calcium oxide now we have total 0.25 n one number of molecules given so so th there will be total proton number 28 into 0.25 n so if you multiply this you will have 7 n protons so you if you match with these four options so you will get it is matching with option d so option d will be the correct answer that is 7 n sometime in question there will be answer in terms of Avogadro number. So in that case, 7 into 6.023, 10 to the 23, whatever it comes will be the correct answer. Okay. So here they have supplied in terms of n, that's why 7n will be the correct answer. Okay. So additionally, I have just shown here the calculation for number of electrons and number of neutrons also for this particularly this case. Because in exam question uh, comes from three different a calculation just like number of photons number of electrons and number of neutrons also so that's why i just shown here uh, three calculation so in this case particularly for calcium oxide see number of protons present in calcium atom is 20 and in oxygen atom 8 so there will be one for one molecules calcium oxide there will be 28 number of protons and we know that number of protons is equal to number of electrons so similarly there will be for 28 electrons present in the one molecule of calcium oxide and for neutrons also in this case so there will be 28 number of neutrons in one molecule calcium oxide so there will be no change in the number of neutrons as well as number of electrons present in 0.25 molecule of calcium oxide so there will be 7n number of electrons and 7n number of neutrons for this case it may vary case to case okay so let us see next question how many protons are there in 10 gram of calcium carbonate see here in terms of uh, avogadro number answers are given so we will keep the similar pattern for the explanation to understand better and keep similarity okay so it will be easy to understand for you so that's why i just kept same format for explanation so given data here calcium carbonate chemical formula cacio3 molar mass is given 10 gram and molecular weight we know 100 you can calculate for calcium plus carbon plus 3 oxygen it will come 100 so first you need to calculate for 10 gram calcium carbonate how many moles will be there so there will be 10 upon 100 so 0 0.1 moles of calcium carbonate now one mole calcium carbonate is equivalent to avogadro number of calcium carbonate molecules that is 6.023 10 to the 23 molecules so 0 0.1 moles of calcium carbonate will be equivalent to 6.023 into 10 to the power 22 molecules of calcium carbonate okay now see is in calcium carbonate we have one calcium atom one carbon atom and three oxygen atoms also we know that in one calcium atom there are 20 photons in one carbon there are six photons and three oxygen atom will have eight into three that is 24 photons so total we have in for one molecule of calcium carbonate total 50 protons will be there now we have moles so 0 0.1 moles and 50 protons so total we will have for this type uh, so total we will have 6.023 10 to power 22 molecules of calcium carbonate okay so total we will have uh, 6.023 10 to the power 22 into 50 that means 3.01 10 to the power 24 photons so total we have 6.023 10 to the power 22 molecules for calcium carbonate and if you multiply with the uh, number of protons present in one molecule so you will get total number of protons present in the given mole number of molecules so we have ultimately 3.01 10 to the power 24 protons so it will match with option b so option b is the correct answer in this case now come to the next question the number of neutrons see in this case neutrons present in 14 gram of co 
is so four options are given so here you have to calculate number of neutrons present in 14 gram of co so similarly you can explain the, as previous one so co carbon monoxide molar mass is given 14 gram and molecular weight 28 so moles so moles will be 14 upon 28 that is 0.5 moles of co and one mole of co is equivalent to 6.023 10 to the 23 molecules that means Avogadro number of CO molecules. Now 0.5 moles of CO is equivalent to 3.01 into 10 to the power 23 molecules of CO. Okay, so CO is consisting one carbon atom and one oxygen atom and we also know that one carbon atom has six neutrons and one oxygen atom has eight neutrons so one molecule co will have total six plus eight that is 14 neutrons so we have total 3.01 10 to the power 23 molecules of co now total uh, neutrons will be this number of molecules into total neutrons present in one molecule so 3.01 10 to the power 23 into 14 equal to 4.21 10 to the power 24 neutrons so there will be in total 4 in 4.21 into 10 to the power 24 so it will match with option c so option c will be the correct answer in this case okay let us see next question so how many electrons are present in 16 gram of methane okay so here also the answers are given in terms of multiple of avogadro number in this case also we will explain in the similar way so given data methane chemical formula ch4 molar mass 16 gram molecular weight 16 gram per mole so we have to calculate first number of moles so here number of moles will be 16 upon 16 so only one mole of ch4 will be there now for one mole ch4 we know that is avogadro number of methane molecules will be there so methane molecules is consisting of four uh, hydrogen atom and one carbon atom and we also know that one carbon atom is having six electrons and four hydrogen atom will have one into four that is four electrons so total we will have 10 electrons for one molecule of methane but we have total avogadro number of molecules methane present here so total electrons will be 10 into avogadro number that is 10 n a here for electrons so you will have total 10 into na electrons in uh, the given methane molecule so, okay so now let us match the answer so it's matching with option a so option a will be the correct answer okay if you see the last question so how many electrons are present in 92 grams of sodium so so far we have discussed all where molecule now we come in case of atom so sodium atom so 92 gram sodium metal that means elemental sodium is given so here it is in the atomic condition so you have to calculate the number of electrons present in 92 grams of sodium so let us see how to calculate so i am not showing all details calculation just now i have showed for uh, last four examples so here i will go to the directly general formula because this is case of atom so total number of electrons will be equal to the number of electrons in sodium atom one sodium atom into number of moles into avogadro number so if you put these three values and multiply you will get the answer so number of electrons in sodium atom we know that is 11 and moles here you can calculate moles 92 upon 23 so 23 is the atomic weight of sodium and 92 is molar mass given or atomic mass given and avogadro number you know 6.023 10 to the power 23 so if you multiply these three uh, parameters so you will have this type of value so 2.65 into 10 to the power 25 so it's matching with option b so option b will be the correct answer so this is the simplest way to calculate the number of electrons number of photons number of neutrons present in a molecule in a molecule or in an atom okay if you like this video just hit on the like button and if you have not subscribed yet my channel please subscribe for supporting my effort so thank you so much for watching this video you may visit my facebook group 
chemistry problem and solution just type in the facebook uh, search bar you will get my group and join here because you will get daily question answer discussion in my facebook group and also i give some homework i post some uh, uh, practice set for csr net gate iit jam etc for exam competitive exam so you will get benefit from this group and also you visit my website the url is given here so you will get different information regarding uh, chemistry so just go and visit you will be liking it so thank you so much once again